Hello, my friends. My name is Gene Arnold, and thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. So in this episode, we're going to be digging into the box that I've got right here in front of me. This is a Polygon Siskiyou T7. This bike has been sitting in my garage right behind me for almost a week, but I, I promised myself I wouldn't open up the box. This is the first time opening it until I got a couple other videos done first because I really wanted them all to go in order and I had to wait. But with those videos done, I don't gotta wait anymore. So in this video, we'll be unboxing the T7 and we'll be putting it together. All right, enough talk. Let's open this box up and, and see what we get. Okay, over there. Ooh, it's that new bike smell. All right, here we go. All right, okay, yeah, baby. So on top, I've got the little parts box over here. So we we get uh, this is a um, a torque wrench, a little torque wrench. You get um, little little bits to use on the torque wrench to put the bike together. You get a, a pedal wrench. Okay. Uh, some some paperwork, piece of cardboard. You get your pedals, the reflectors. Uh, cool little keychain, and uh, that's that's pretty much pretty much it. So I set up another camera over here because I really want you to see how the bike comes out of these boxes. They're packed quite nicely and and, and pretty safe, but you really won't be able to see that from the camera in front of me. So I, I put another one right over here. Okay, so um, this is a, a cardboard piece that holds the uh, the rear tire and frame in the bike kind of in place basically i mean that's kind of it like the whole bike just comes out from here okay so i'm gonna try to take this thing out and not uh pull up my back okay so the whole bike just basically it just comes out okay i am going to move the camera and take the bike out so i don't knock things all down and get it on the the rack behind me all right the bike's out here's what it looks like Okay, I took some pictures of it as well. The bike is basically just, it's just covered with, uh, with Velcro straps. Everything is, is just tight and secure so nothing will get scratched or ruined. So they, they do a great job at packaging this thing. I'm going to go take a little bit of time to take off some of these Velcro straps and then, like I said, like I said, get the bike up here on the rack. Okay, the bike is basically all unpacked now. I've got it up on the, on the stand. And I'm going to start putting it together. I'm going to put the handlebars on first. I'm also going to build this bike only with the tools that come with this kit. Okay, I'm just checking all the cable routing, making sure I put this on uh, the right way. It looks pretty good. Okay, the bars are on the bike. I used the torque wrench. I set it to the right torque setting. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our little toolkit over here. I was using a four to put the handlebars on. We need a six to put the front wheel on to, uh, for the axle. Okay, so we need a six to put the axle, take the axle out and put the axle in. It's gotta be a six. I almost forgot this, and it's actually a pretty important tip. When you take off the packaging on, this, uh, on the front wheel, you wanna make sure you don't accidentally um, lose the cups, okay? The cups that are on the hub, they can pop off. That's why you've got this string on here to keep everything in place. So when you take off the packaging, make sure you don't accidentally throw away these cups because you, you really, really need them. Something else real quick to note, when you put the front wheel on, just so you know, the, uh, the front brake, okay, the caliper, has a small plastic shim in it so you don't accidentally push the pistons out but you need to remove that shim in order to put the front wheel on. And there we go, okay? I will make sure I get that to the proper torque setting once I get this bike all put together and off the rack. So now it's time for the seat post. This is pretty easy. All the cables are internally routed and done. All we have to do is attach this part right here to this part right here, okay? 
no tools needed, very, very easy. One tool you're gonna need. You might wanna make sure that the, the seat collar, okay, the, uh, the seat tube collar is loose. This one seems a little bit tight, which might make it hard to put the, uh, the seat in, in the seat tube. So let's go loosen that real quick. Okay, the way this works, it's really easy. There's a barrel over here, and it goes inside of the actual drop receipt post. So you just go and do that. Okay, it's in. Let me go take a picture of that. Now there's also this little plastic piece right here, which is the end of the um, end of the cable, at the cable housing actually. That has to kind of pull down a little bit and get put on the very, very bottom of the dropper seat post. Again, I'll take another picture for you. All right, that's it. That's all it takes to put the seat post, uh, or rather attach the seat post to the cable. Now what you do is you go and you, you gently feed the seat, uh, the dropper seat post into the frame, and you're gonna wanna pull the cable little by little to feed it through. Okay. So I pulled, I pulled some of the cable down over here. Let me give you a picture of this. So with some of the cable pulled out down here, you obviously have to pull some of the cable out up, up here to little by little get this all set up correctly, okay? So we're also gonna have to attach the actual lever, but here it is. So we just, you know, work together little by little. We'll feed this up now. That seems to fit pretty nice. I'm going to take out my, I'm gonna go take out my tool over here. I'm not gonna really make this too tight because I know I have to adjust it later on but just so things don't flop around, take my five out. But this will, this is, everything's nicely labeled. This is seven Newton meters. So now we're going to install the dropper seat post lever. That requires a three millimeter Allen key. So we just put that in the tool and we'll go put that on now. The way this works is you have to loosen the bolt that's here, drop it on the floor. Ugh. No, don't, don't drop it on the floor. Okay, there's a hinge, okay, this is gonna hinge around the handlebars, okay? Okay, that feels good. Let's go see if we can move the, the seat post. All right, I'm gonna go and make sure this whole thing's working. Push this lever in. Okay, dropper seat post goes down. All right, push the lever in again. Dropper seat post goes up. Clearly, I'm gonna to need to do some adjustments, but everything's working good. The cable was routed nicely, no kinks, and the, the mechanism that we attached the cable and to the uh, dropper seat post, that's all attached well. Everything's working fine. Now, in that small box that I showed you earlier, remember I told you that there's a pedal wrench, and, and of course, there's pedals. So I'm gonna install these pedals on the bike right now because I wanna go and test the shifting. Everything's labeled at R for right, and that's blue, L for left, that's red, and everything's also labeled on the actual cranks, uh, R and L, and each one of the decals shows you the way, the direction that the pedal screws on, because remember, one side is opposite, okay, opposite thread, so you just follow the instructions, it's very, very easy. Okay, the pedals are installed. Now let's go test out the shifting. All right, so let's go and do a little bit of shifting over here. All right, I really can't argue with that. I mean, that's shifting really nicely and I didn't have to do any adjustments at all. So technically, everything's put together right now. We don't have to build anything else. The only things that are really left right now are just some of the adjustments on the bike. You're gonna want to adjust uh, the controls, right? You wanna put them where you like them, but everything is working well. Look, I mean, all, all the, the brakes are working fine. We went through the shifting. The shifting's doing, doing just fine. The, uh, the dropper seat post is doing fine. Everything is technically put together 
fine, but you'll still have to do a little bit more work. Like I said, you want to set up the controls. You also have to set up the suspension. All right, you'll need to set up the, the sag appropriate for your weight. You're also going to want to go through all the different bolts that we put together and make sure that they're actually properly, properly set to the correct torque. I just basically got this together quick. You really need to go through everything and set everything up properly and make sure all the, bite, the, the bolts are at the proper torque setting. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helps you build your bike. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, I have affiliate links to this bike inside of the description. So if you could use that link when you decide to purchase this bike, that would be huge and it really helps out the channel a lot. Other than that, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.